Emmanuel. If God is with us, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to take this message, your condition. Let someone say, my condition. The question, what is your condition? Because of our condition, we cannot reason well. We lose focus. What is my condition? What is your condition? Let's quickly look at the book of Matthew 4. Viewers all over the world, where can you go from his presence? It's everywhere, inside you, within, outside. What you are thinking, he knows. Hallelujah. Matthew 4. Let's quickly look at our Savior here. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Verse 2, and when he had fasted 40 days and uh, 40 nights, afterwards he was hungry. That was his condition at that time. He was hungry. And you know what it means? Because Satan realized this. Knowing that Jesus was hungry, Satan tempted him with bread. Satan uses our situation to tempt us. What is your situation? Are you sick? Satan will now begin to talk to you. That sickness you have, remember that man died of that sickness. That situation you are in is a generational cause. Satan uses our situation to tempt us. Keep talking to you through that situation. Remember, no one has ever got to a certain position in your family. That is why you have not got there. You keep talking to you. I mean, Satan uses our situation to detract us from running the straight race with God. You want to be faithful to God. You want to be kind. You want to be nice. You want to be honest. But this situation does not allow you. You want to be a obedient child. You know the right thing. You know you are created for the glory of God. You know. You know the right thing is to live for God. But because of your situation, you keep lying. You have to lie. You know where you are working. You must do this, do that. Satan uses our situation to detract us from running the straight race. The straight race but because of your situation you keep going this way, going that way. Today you are born again. Hallelujah. You answer altar call. But next month again, when they call altar call, you come out. You say, I want to rededicate myself. Now you have done something. You know you are no more a child of God. <sighs> Jesus, forgive me. You are born again today. Another time, you want to rededicate yourself. That is not straight trace. In verse 4, but he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Jesus said to him, Here, yeah, that man shall not live by bread alone. Me, I may be hungry, but 
I am not anxious about food. No doubt about that, I'm very, very hungry. But I'm not anxious. The problem we have now, we are anxious. When you are poor and anxiously in need of blessing, you will not mind the source of your supplies. Whether from God or from Satan, you will take it. This is God. My God forever and ever, and will show me my way until death. Tell your neighbor, this is God. My God forever and ever. And will show me the way until death. Stand up and tell your neighbor, this is God. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. My God, forever and ever, and he will show me the way unto death. You may be seated. Jesus said to him, man shall not live by bread alone. By what? This is God by word of God. This is God. The step of a good man are led by God and is happy in his way. When you are poor and anxiously in need of blessing, you will not mind the source of your supplies, whether from God or Satan, you will take it. This is the problem you people are facing today. That's why you're wrong. Fail to understand that a man may be poor and yet be a friend of God. A man may want bread and yet be a candidate of heaven. A man may be sick in body and yet be a favorite of heaven. Tell your neighbor, you should not be misled. I can hear you. You should not be misled by your condition. Because a man may be poor and yet be a friend of God. The mind of a man plans his way, but the law shows him what to do. We should not be misled by our condition. The rich must not concentrate on his wealth, while the poor should not concentrate on his poverty. Tell your neighbor, the rich should not concentrate on his wealth. Why the poor should not concentrate on his poverty. <sighs> because you are sick. The sick 
should not concentrate on their sickness. If you want to serve God with truth and faith, poor should not concentrate on their poverty. Rich should not concentrate on their wealth. Tell your neighbor, the rich must not concentrate on their wealth. I can hear you. I can hear you. Why the poor should not concentrate on their poverty, the sick should not concentrate on their sickness. If they want to serve God in truth and faith, Let me quickly take you in conclusion to the book of Colossians 3, verse 1 to 3. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above. Are you there? Listen to what Christ is saying. If you claim that you are raised with Christ, mm, seek those things that are above. You say you are raised with Christ. Oh, yes, you are raised with Christ. Then seek those things that are above. That is, let your mind rise and seek things that are above so that you will be comforted under your present situation. If you seek those things that are above, no matter the situation you are in, that will not break your joy. Will not break your joy. Because the Bible says in the book of John 14, verse 27, it says, The peace I give, not as the world gives it. The peace that God gives is put for all good. That is, those things God gives is put for all goods. That is, everything about it is just too good. The back of it is good. The front of it is good. Left is good. Right is good. In the face of difficulty, that thing will stand by you. Not that kind of peace that will leave you in the face of trouble. Why the, the one that the world gives is time bound. I want to encourage you in this difficult time that Jesus is our hope. In this difficult time, Jesus is our hope. Yeah. If Jesus is your hope, let your mind rise and seek things that are both so that you will be comforted under the present situation. Whether your situation is this or when you seek When you seek things that are above, you will not base faith on your improvement after prayer. In the name of Jesus, 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 I want bread, I want bread. As a Christian, Jesus knows the best. The bread may not be the best for you. If I'm talking to you there, let me see your hand.
it honors Jesus to believe in him even why every sense contradicts him. I want to move. Lord Jesus, help me to move this monte in the name of Jesus. Move this monte for me. And each time I open my eyes, the monte is still there. If truly I'm a fake man, whether Jesus moved this monte or not, is my God. Whether he moved this monte or not, is my Savior. Whether he moved this monte or not, is my Redeemer. Whether he moved this monte or not, is my. But what has happened to you? Each time your mountain seems not to move, you stop running a straight race again. You begin to look for alternative. You pray less. You fast less. Instead of praying the more, fast the more. Tell your neighbor, it is never proper to base faith on our improvement after prayer. I know you are prepared now to receive. These are things you need to know. If truly really you are a Christian, your situation sometimes may be to preserve you, to prepare you for the challenges ahead. It may be to stop you a while. Cancer stop many from drinking alcohol. Cancer. And they get to doctor, doctor say, ah, you cannot spend two, two weeks. Eh? Doctor, you say what? Ah, this is it, look at this. If you live two weeks more, <laughs> I have never said anybody that still continue to live above two weeks with this condition. Doctor, well, well, tell me what to do now. What can I do? I, my children is there. My house, my money, I suffer. I'm the only person in my family. I'm the, I'm the only person, I'm the breadwinner in the family. Doctor. No, 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 take it easy. I, I suffer, I suffer, I suffer, I suffer. No, no. You suffer what? You say I will die two weeks time. I'm not the one that say you will die. I say this thing. Go and write your will. I should write what? Right we. You mean? Doctor, what will I do? Yes. Stop smoking. Stop drinking. Eh? If that will solve the problem. If you stop it, that cancer will gradually, it will not increase again. Ah. Smoking, drinking, that is the end. That is the end. Let him call my, my child. Hello, hello. You just help me. I don't want to see even the carton of cigarettes every, everywhere. I, I, even right now, I hate the odor. I, I, did, I dislike it. This is what the West of God has been warning you every day, but death is now the one near here you will die. Brothers and sisters, now, you are here. I want to say welcome. We have different groups here today. 
over my dead body, I will never enter that synagogue. Thank you. You are welcome. Your body is here today. That man, that man, I will never have anything to do with the man. Me, I will never have anything to do with the man. Now, glory be to God, it's like the man is, seems to be your benefactor. Amen. You are welcome here, that man. Amen. Switch off that channel. I don't want to see the man. I don't want to see which channel that. No, 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 no. Off it, off it. You are welcome. You are welcome. It is the Lord doing. It is the Lord that is nothing we can do. He who respects the power above him must be respected. So right now, what you are about to see, healing, deliverance, we have not done anything to bring about what you are about to see. All we are doing is giving back what we have been given from his generous hand. Everything come from him. Everything we have is actually only being borrowed from God. Thank you, Jesus.